So this is kind of um, an advanced tip. Um, it actually turns out to be really kind of tough and usually it's going to be worth trying to find some way that you can make a continuous run of the ghost wire. But if you're in a situation where you do have to splice two ghost wires together, you can do it and you can end up getting it, it sort of clean. Um, I'm showing this from the, the back side. Here's the two paintable edges. Um, and this is the removable backing on this side. And I went ahead and peeled these back um, about an inch and a half, this one the same. And on this side, I cleaned off both sides of the adhesive. I used the adhesive remover and it, you can see that it leaves the, the conductors a little bit rough. Um, but we'll, we'll do the best we can here. So what you want to do is fold over each of these um, just a little bit, get a, a good little lip. You can start with and you want to make a similar lip on this side. Um, you just want to be careful because I left the adhesive on here. So just go ahead and, and fold it over. Kind of make a crease but don't let it stick to itself too tightly right away. Then get the two and you kind of want to get them, um, you know, an interlock like that. So fold them over one at a time and get these two pieces together and pinch it nice and flat. Keep it as straight as you can. And we'll do the other side very similarly. The two pieces to sit together and I'm gonna make sure I get that from so it doesn't fold over too much there. Alright. So now you once you've got that started, you can go ahead and roll this over. And I'm going to do it one more time so that it'll all fit under the backing. Like I said, this is kind of a last resort. Let me roll this one more time so that'll sit tight there. And then fold this back. And you can get the two layers to overlap. Now, if you are really careful and really lucky, you'll get it to match up really well. Um, but it's, I didn't do a fantastic job, but it's enough that, you know, it's something you could still, you know, put your you know, finishing mud over and and you get a pretty pretty clean seam along there and you've got enough conductivity between the two that uh, it'll just pass through just fine. So again, probably not the ideal scenario, but if you're in a pinch, you can use that to splice two ghost wire conductors together. <laughs>